Hi guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to work in any protagon scene on your mobile device. Stay tuned. Welcome back, guys. Welcome to Femtech Studio. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to work in any protagon scene. The needed applications are Protagon to Story, Z Ashiva, okay, AI Green Screen, and Kinemaster. All these application links are available in my description box below. Before we get started, you need to download some file, okay? Probably I'll call it my file. So open up your Telegram. For, the, for my members, just download the file available on my channel as you can see. I'll also leave the link to this uh, channel file. For new viewers that are yet to join my channel, I will leave the link in the description box. Copy it, then open up the telegram on the search icon. Copy and pa paste the link there. Once you paste the link, immediately my channel will pop out like that then please make sure you join my channel and that is the file then select save to download okay once that is done uh, once that is done uh, let's locate the file that we just downloaded select download and let me scroll down as you can see i have a lot of uh, files here so what i'll just do is to uh cut uh the file and paste it in an empty uh folder so that we can have a built-in space because i have cumbersome files here so let me see probably i'll use a bluetooth uh folder okay probably my bluetooth folder is empty so select bluetooth folder you can also follow along okay and select paste once you select paste, click on the file once and select extract here. So copy the password shown on the screen. That is 11082021. That is the password to, our, to that file. Okay. Once we do that, let's see the file we actually want to use. So click. let's click on the first one. We open it up. So this is the background uh, scene we are going to uh, uh, use and the video also which was exported from uh, Plotagon Okay, select this and as you can play it Okay, as you can see, so this is the video we are going to make use of So what we want to do is to remove the background scene, alright? Okay, so let's uh, continue and at this point if you haven't subscribed and you know, like my video please do that right away okay so let's uh, get down to the right business now once we've done that open up your AI green screen then select pick video from gallery from gallery So once we do that, uh, we need to locate that folder we saved it. Mine is on the Bluetooth. So let me show you. If probably if you are following along, select your storage, then select Bluetooth folder. Okay. So once you click on it, you will have this. Then select the video. So let's click on the video. Then let AI do its thing. Let's give it a little time to set it up. Now, once that is set up, then select on that icon and se select your image to AI, video to AI, and detect people only. So, once that is done, now scroll down. I mean, scroll to the uh, to the right and select this icon okay once you select this icon it will change the background to green okay now you set to green background 
next thing to do is to select on that icon this icon like save okay so what we want to do now is to actually render it in how many uh, frame rates per second the best one you could ever use is 30 frame rates per second but for the sake of this tutorial i used five uh, this middle one is five uh, frame rates per second but i tell you you can use the best one to use is the highest one but the, long, the bigger the frame rate you use the longer it takes to render the video okay so to follow along you can actually use five uh, frame rates per second once you select that then select start uh, rendering so give it time to render out the video okay so it probably probably it might take a while probably two minutes or so but nevertheless you it's it's worth it okay now now as you can see it's now uh rendering out and you can see the video frame rate the video frame rate okay so you can see two out of 93 now so it has to load up to down to 93 before you can uh, make use of the green screen but like i said i already have this saved on my mobile device okay so i'm going to uh, minimize this now and and show you where to locate it from on my mobile device and likewise on your mobile device also so quickly let's do that open up your gallery click on your gallery okay album then scroll down and locate where you have uh, ai green screen so once you click on it then that's it all right so as you can see that is the little guy working on the green screen and this is what we are going to import into kinemaster all right so let's get started with that now locate your kinemaster open it up yes so let's open it up now now when since now we are on kinemaster uh, what we need to do is select on that this icon select 16 by 9 okay let it load now firstly we need to add a media to uh, the to this scene first before we can make use of it so select media let's locate that image we saved in our bluetooth folder okay so select bluetooth trying to locate where the bluetooth folder is bluetooth folder in a second space okay yeah i got it so bluetooth folder then select the image itself okay so that's the background image we are using okay next thing to do is to apply the green screen the video green screen okay as a layer image so once you do that select on it and locate the image itself probably the video itself okay so let's position it somewhere and let me see if i move it i notice both the uh the background scene is moving okay Probably if you can see it, let me delete this first. Let me delete uh, the, green screen, the green screen first. Okay, and show you what I'm trying to say. So you can see it's somehow zooming. So I don't want this. I want this scene to be stationary. So select on it, select on this icon, and select on that equal sign. Okay. So then select uh, the map sign so once you look, uh, look at it now you 
you see it's station okay select layer media and select the ai green screen also select the video so uh, let's see we need to extend the the background scene probably to the end of the clip of that video okay and next let's position uh, the green screen itself somewhere there okay more or less looking at the uh, the baseline okay the the floor the floor level of the image okay and next thing to do is to uh, remove the green screen okay that is by selecting on it and select chroma key and select enable so you can actually do some settings from uh, you can see it's an uh, edited you can actually do some settings here to remove uh, the feather to add more stuff to eat okay so i leave you to do that i leave that to you just try to play with the key and see what it's all about okay so once we play it you can see it's moving the green screen is off or the character is moving on one spot okay so to make sure the character move from that position to the next position we need we need to add some keyframe Okay, to do that, click on the green screen itself. Once you click on it, you will see. Let's position the character first. Okay. Okay, let's position. Then you can see this icon. Select on it. That's the keyframe. Select on it at that position first. Alright. Then move the scene to wherever you think you want the character to walk to. Then drag the character to that level and take note once i'm dragging the character you can notice a keyframe is being set on that spot okay as you can see now once that is done um, what we could do i've been just trying to just adjust it probably the character should work out of the scene okay so it all depends on uh, you now let's play back and see what we've done so far let's play back and see what we've done so far okay so so let's play boom as you can see the character is working okay and it's majestically working from the left down to the right side view okay so that is it and you can also add more uh, Sing to the background and um, try to be creative yourself okay thank you guys for watching i hope this video is helpful okay i will also show you how to export uh, the video and from what you can see i'm just trying to see if i can actually increase the time frame and the keyframe but nevertheless uh, I think it's okay like this and I hope it's helpful to anyone that wanted to know how to work in any protagonist scene. Okay, so how to export, select on that icon and make sure it's set to 1080 pixels and select export and that's how to export the video. Do not forget to subscribe and like my video. Uh, thanks. Love you guys. Peace.